Good afternoon, everyone. Today is another magical day at Walt Disney World, and today we're at the Skyliner Transfer Station at the Caribbean Beach Resort. Today, we're at answering those questions, the frequently asked questions about the Skyliner gondola system. Now, I'm a big believer in the idea that there is no such thing as a silly question. No such thing. So I'm going to be answering the complex questions and the more basic questions about the Skyliner gondola system. First up, the Skyliner gondola system is included with your admission or just visiting the park. You do not have to have admission to the park. You do not even have to be a guest of the resorts. You can ride the Skyliner gondola anytime you want to. Even as an attraction, you can just enjoy it. Next up, how many guests can the Skyliner gondola accommodate? This one, very simple as well, it's on the outside, 10 guests per gondola car. Next up, can you take the Skyliner gondola if you have an ECV or wheelchair? The answer, yes you can. And not only can you, there is a separate line for you. This line right here is meant specifically for those in ECVs or wheelchairs. You can just wheel your wheelchair ECV right in there and they will take you on your way. There's no delay, you just stand right here and then by the time everyone else makes it in line, you are gonna be set to go. So even if you have a larger wheelchair, as long as it is within the parameters that Disney set down in terms of sizes, and I will link that in the description of this video, you can ride the Skyliner gondola. Next up, can you bring a stroller on board the Skyliner gondola system? Same rules apply, as long as they fit Disney's limits for the size of the stroller, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. You can even fold them up or you can just roll them on depending on the size, but as long as you have one that fits within the size Disney has specified, it's a yes. Next up, are there long lines for the Skyliner gondolas? It, there can be, there can be at times, especially those rush hours when you're going for dinner, lines can get just a little bit long, but even a line like this, seven, 10 minutes, that's it. It moves extremely quickly. Next up, yes indeed, there are restrooms at every single gondola station. There's specific for the station, so they're a little bit different, a different theming. They're right here, they even have posters for different Disney destinations. So cool to see. Even though we see some longer lines, especially heading to Epcot during those rush hours, sometimes going to Pop Century, there's just no one here. Now let's talk about the inside of the Skyliner gondola cars. The biggest question you may have, do the Skyliner gondola cars get hot? The truth is Walt Disney World is in Florida. Florida is hot by nature, but the Skyliner gondola cars, in my opinion, are very, very comfortable simply because they have been made with that cross breeze. The only time, the only time that I have felt even slightly warm in a gondola car, and keep in mind we haven't gotten to the heat of the summer yet, was when we came to a full and complete stop. Another common question, is there a difference between the wrapped gondolas and the clear gondolas? Yes, there is. The clear gondolas give you a better view outside so you can see more of what's happening around you as you're flying by. If you don't want those vista views, and I can understand how you may not want to, scared of heights, that's okay, no problem. I recommend the wrapped version. It's not like you can't see outside, but it's a little bit muted so you can't see as far outside. The question that we answered together the other day can you see the fireworks from the Skyliner gondola? Yes, you can, and they're awesome. Another big question, what happens in the event of an emergency? Well, they can evacuate you even from this station right here where you're over the water. There's a water evacuation platform over there, but just in case, there's a button right here to call for emergency services. In addition to that, there is a first aid kit and emergency kit under this chair. Even though it's super easy and convenient to get on and off, you do want to pay attention where you're walking because the Skyliner gondola cars still move on the standing still platform right there. Another question that a few friends have asked me, can you request a certain wrap of the Skyliner gondola? Yes, you can. If you love Star Wars, they will kind of put you to the side until the Star Wars Skyliner gondola car comes around. It's super nice. I wouldn't ask for it too much, but if there's a young one in your traveling party who really loves Frozen or Haunted Mansion or Moana, you can request it. That being said, it can take a while for those cars to go around, so might be a little bit quicker to just go on the car and then see what you get. Another question that I have answered before, my favorite wrap is the Haunted Mansion wrap right there. I love that one. You are not supposed to stand up, smoke, eat, or drink on board the Skyliner gondola system. It's just important to know, stay seated when you're on board. The next one's a little bit of a super secret tip if you're looking for the cooler side of the Skyliner gondola. You wanna face the direction of forward motion because the wind comes in this way. I've noticed that a few times. When I sit on this side, it's not as cool because the wind isn't hitting you directly. It's kind of recirculating. It's still cool, it's still fine, but it's like significantly cooler when you face the direction that you're traveling. Another big question that I get from time to time, is it possible to stay on board and just go around and around? 
Technically, no, you do have to step off because of safety reasons. The doors actually stay open as it goes around, but you can always just get right back in line. There's no limit to how many times you can ride the Skyliner in any given day. Another good question, how long does it take to get from here, the Caribbean Beach Resort, the hub, to Hollywood Studios, Art of Animation at Pop Century, and Epcot? Well, to Hollywood Studios takes about two or three minutes, super fast. Pop Century and Art of Animation, super fast, two or three minutes. To Epcot, it takes a little bit longer. Let's actually time it this time and see how long it takes. The line itself is extremely fast, but we're timing the time it takes on board the Skyliner Gondola to Epcot. Welcome aboard, It is the longest route at 11 minutes and 55 seconds, which we're gonna call 12 minutes. No stops, no slowdowns. It is much faster than any other form of transportation from the Caribbean beach to Epcot. And if you consider Hollywood Studios to Epcot, that's super fast. In total, it's about 15 minutes from Hollywood Studios to Epcot or vice versa when taking the Skyliner gondola system. Another common question, what are the operating hours for the Disney Skyliner? Well, right now it's 6.30 in the morning till 10 at night. Those can vary, I'm sure, depending on the special holidays. So when the holidays come around, we'll see if those change. But right now, 6.30 in the morning, 10 p.m. at night. Another great question, which Skyliner route has the best views? Now, of course, that's based on your personal taste, but let's take a closer look at some of them as the sun is setting, which in Welcome my opinion aboard. is the it perfect time sunlight. for this. The Epcot route gives you the most we backstage the look of any of the routes country. here. You can actually see Did what's happening to the construction the right here in the France area. You can see that where the um, uh, crate place will go and where the Remy Ratatouille attraction will be right over there. Lots to look forward to. Backstage views. This is a view that just doesn't get old to me. You can see right over the boardwalk in and you can see the swan and dolphin over there. Truly magnificent. Just look at that view. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know the sun played a big role in that one, but it's a, it's a beautiful one for sure. As we continue on, we make our way over the parking lot for the boardwalk in, and you can see cars right below us there. I've actually parked my car right beneath where the gondolas were going. Kind of, kind of like a lower part, so it looked like they were going right over the car, which is always pretty cool. Now, if you're wondering why I'm alone in the Skyliner gondola car, it's because there was no line. I did not ask to be alone, it's an important point. You will be grouped up with other guests if there is a line. The Epcot route is the only one with a turn station where the entire gondola car turns basically 90 degrees, probably a little bit more than 90, and then takes off again toward the Riviera Resort. Now, if you are afraid of heights, this is the part that has made some friends that I've spoken to a little bit uneasy. Again, being afraid of heights, that is something that's very personal. I can't really speak to that because I'm not afraid of this height. It's an important one. I'm, there are other heights that would scare me, but not this one. This is, this is 96 feet above the ground. We're okay. Now, if you're wondering what heights scare me, 30,000 feet jumping out of a plane. Those kind of heights scare me plenty. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, by the way, that's not gonna happen for a long time. Maybe ever, we we'll see. From here, it's a very unique view. You can see parts of those pavilions for Epcot. You can see Japan, the American Adventure over there. You can see Epcot and you can see Cosmic Rewind right there. It's really cool. Now, one side note, you do have control of the air conditioning inside the Skyliner gondola system. These handles right here, you can close those windows to provide less air circulation if need be. But on a day like today, more is better. As we continue along here, we pass near this road right here and the Disney Firehouse right over there. Now, this is a beautiful view right here where you can see the other Skyliner gondola cars and we're making our way to the Riviera Resort right there. I mean, it's beautiful views. And as you cross over this road here, 
You can see it's also very unique. There's that firehouse on our left road beneath us. You can see more resorts over there along with the Skyliner cars way beyond there. In my opinion, the Riviera Resort has one of the most impressive looking stations right here with that grass right there as you make your way there. But they all look really good, honestly. There we go. The Riviera Station is super nice, but it does add a little bit of time. So you wanna factor that in as you're thinking about your favorite route of the three routes that we have now. And you're thinking to yourself, Michael, why do you say now? The reason I say now is because I personally believe and many other Disney enthusiasts also believe that this system is such a successful system where the Skyliner got all the cars and great views and cool breezes that Disney is almost guaranteed, not, not sure guaranteed, but almost guaranteed to expand them. As we launch from the Riviera Resort, you can see brand new views that really do add to this route. Now this is a view Thank that in my opinion is just radiant. fantastic. We Look at those kind of teal, blue, green like roofs right there at the Caribbean Beach, Beach Resort. Resort. It's amazing. It is an amazing view, adds so much. And sometimes, I've noticed anyway, you can smell some part of the kitchen is must be nearby because the smells come in, it smells like chicken or beef or whatever it is, it smells so good. Truly incredible to see that. Just incredible, the orange out there, the blue above it, the Skyliner gondola cars going by. Oh, it's a whole new level of magic in my opinion. The views on that route are really tough to beat, but now let's head to Pop Century and Art of Animation and take a look at those views. All right, now let's check out those views from Caribbean Beach to Pop Century and Art of Animation. Starting it off with the launch. You can see you've got much more of a greener look as you're going around from Caribbean Beach to Pop Century and Art of Animation. You can see more of the Caribbean Beach right over there, the greenery on this side and the green on this side. This is a very lush, lush kind of, it is a swampy area, but a lush area. Now you can see to our left and right, there are some great views, but below us, they just kind of have that standard driveway area that they use for maintenance just in case. But once you get to the halfway point, the view changes completely. Now take a look at this. We're passing over the parking lot of Pop Century right now, and we're making our way over Hourglass Lake. And just look at this. As the sun is beginning to set here, you can see the reflections of the Skyliner gondola cars on the water. The orange from the sky in, in the water right there. That is just awesome. It is an awesome view. Now this, in my opinion, is a fantastic way to end your night. Let's say you're staying at Art of Animation, Pop Century. You just glide across the water to get back to where you need to go. From Hollywood Studios or Epcot. So convenient. 360 degrees of water all around us. Now let's make our way back to the Caribbean Beach Resort and see that last view from Caribbean Beach to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Now, I have said it before, I feel like the Disney Skyliner system is like an attraction. I mean, this, to me, is a big part of it. This is, this is basically another version of the Tomorrowland People Mover. You, you, you can ride this again and again and just enjoy it. And, you know, of course, we do want more things to, to hear and the, the audio, I'm sure, will be changed over time. But I love this. I just love this form of transportation. Now, the big question, does it beat the monorail? I, I can't say if it, if it beats the monorail. It's different. It's just a different form of transportation. We enjoy it differently. An extremely popular question, what if I have a fear of heights? Should I be worried about the Skyliner? Well, that's a very personal decision, as you know. But I honestly, I would give it a try. There are a lot of friends that I know personally or that I have heard from who said, you know, I was afraid of heights. I was afraid of it, didn't go on it. I actually took a friend with me for her first time and she went, she's like, you know what? I was afraid of heights and this is okay. This is okay. So it's not as scary as you may think it is. It's worth a try. And if you're looking for the route that's best for that first try, either this one from Pop Century to Caribbean Beach or Hollywood Studios to Caribbean Beach. For your first time, if you're a little nervous, I recommend not the one from Epcot. That's the longest one. Now let's see those views from the Caribbean Beach Resort to Hollywood Studios.
Now, of the three routes that we took, my personal favorite is probably the Pop Century Art of Animation route because you have that over the water feeling, but I do love the way to Epcot as well. Both of them are awesome. This one to Hollywood Studios is okay, but my least favorite of the three because you just kind of pa pass over the parking lot, which is kind of cool as well, but the other ones are more unique. Whether you love the Skyliner or you've never tried it before, I hope you found this video helpful and answered maybe a few of your questions. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Skyliner, if you've tried it before, if you love it, if it's your favorite form of transportation, or maybe you haven't tried it yet and you're super excited, or you don't really want to try it because you're a little afraid of heights, and that's okay to admit, totally okay. Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today, it was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day. Thank you.